The simple overhand knot is the basis of many useful knots in the outdoors, but I can already hear the comments, you're never going to get that undone. So today I'm going to show you five useful knots based on the overhand knot. Stay tuned to the end to see how to get that undone. So the first knot is the simple overhand stopper knot. And yes, that's going to bind up, but I'll show you how to undo that shortly. If we take a little bit of that tail, we form what's called a slipped overhand knot. So instead of pulling all the rope through, we're just going to pull through a bite and then run that stopper knot up to the other slipped overhand. That's going to give us a secure loop that we can slip over a post or if we wanted to run it around something like a tree we can feed that bit of rope through the bite put in a toggle or a tent peg and that's going to secure it to undo it we simply pull on that and it'll pull that slip knot out if you find that that's bound up all we need to do is find the two pieces that are slipping through and grab them and then pull them apart you can see that that creates a gap now we should just be able to pull the slip knot out. The third knot works exactly the same way, but we've turned the rope around. So now we've got the standing part of rope in our right hand and we form another overhand slip. Let's give ourselves a little bit of slack and pull that through. This is actually the basis of two knots I'm going to show you. It gives us a running noose. What we've created now is the jam knot. So if we put that around something and ratchet it down, what you'll notice is this stopper knot is going to jam up against that slip knot that we did. That's now going to hold securely. To undo the knot, all we simply do, pull on that tail end and it comes loose. Again, that's probably going to jam up under tension, but we're going to fix that shortly. The fourth knot, we're going to start exactly the same way, give ourselves a little bit more tail, and we're going to form that overhand slip. Now, before we pull that tight, we're going to take the tail end of our rope and we're going to feed it through that loop that we've created. When you pull it tight, you'll see that it forms the bowline knot. You're not going to need the same technique as you would to undo this overhand knot, because this knot, no matter how much tension you put on it, is easy to break. You'll see that this back part of the rope is turned up at a 90 degree angle. All we simply do is pull that down straight. That loosens everything up. For our fifth knot, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to come around the standing part of that rope and then tie the overhand knot or a slipped overhand knot through here. What this is going to do is it's going to give us a tension knot. Not quite as secure as the Siberian hitch or the Event hitch because it's only an overhand knot, not a figure eight knot. But we'll get to that in another video. To undo this knot, we're just going to pull the tail end and the whole knot comes apart. Let's take a look how to undo this tensioned overhand knot. Before I show you how to untie it though, I want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Cam's Cords. They supply all my ropes and cordage as well as the accessories I need for any crafting. You can visit their site at camscords.com.au. Tell them I said g'day. To get out any knot that might bind up, we want to place it onto a flat object that doesn't have any sharp edges. We don't want to damage our rope. Then we just pound the knot. And turn it over and pound the other side. Alternatively, you can use pliers and just squeeze the knot down and work your way around the knot. You can see that the rope's not nearly as stiff as what it was. Now you simply pinch it with your fingernails and it should come right apart. If you'd like to see how to tie a more effective stopper knot than this, watch this video. Thanks for watching.